Take a break from your busy schedule and join Harold Sala for Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. Do you find yourself caught up in the rush of living so you scarcely remember which day of the week it is? You jump out of bed in the morning, gulp down a cup of coffee, and you're off to work. Then you rush home, have dinner quickly so you can get to an evening appointment. You finally crawl into bed bone-weary and then sleep fast so you can start the next morning, have your coffee, and head off to work. Many of us need to pray, as did the preacher of a bygone generation. Slow me down, Lord, slow me down. Ease the pounding of my heart by the quieting of my mind. Steady my hurried pace with a vision of the eternal reaches of time. Slow me down, Lord. Break the tension of my nerves and muscles with the soothing music of the singing streams. Help me to know the magic, restoring power of sleep and faith in Thee. Slow me down, Lord. Remind me each day that the race is not always to the swift, that there is more to life than simply increasing its speed. Slow me down, Lord. Amen. God put it this way in Psalm 46.10. Be still and know that I am God. Be still, for only then can you hear God's voice. Times of quietness are part of God's natural laws. As threads break on a sewing machine when the tension is too tight, we today must ease the tensions of daily living or the tensions will eventually break us. Can it be right to constantly abuse that trust? God's natural laws are as binding as His spiritual laws. God never promised to spare you from difficulty. Sometimes we ask for grace to lift us up above the depressing cares of life, and God sends sorrow. We feel He hasn't answered our prayers. We ask for light to see the path ahead, but clouds of darkness seem to be there. We ask for peace and quiet that we may be calm and everything around us becomes confusing. Why? God allows trials because he knows these things will drive us to himself. They will teach us the lessons that when he gives peace, no one can take it from us. When we are weak, God does not tell us to be strong, rather to be still. For when we are still, then we become strong. The prophet Isaiah said, In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. God does not just say, Be still. He goes on to say, Know that I am God. Psychology says, Be still. Have inner serenity. But the Bible says, Know that I am God. God doesn't say, be still and know a better way of life. He says, be still and know me, a person who is life himself. Friend, when you know God, you will learn and discover his grace is sufficient. The Bible says, God is thy refuge. Underneath are the everlasting arms. In the rush of living, the words of the old hymn still speak to us. Be still, my soul, the Lord is on thy side. Bear patiently the cross of grief or pain. Leave to thy God to order and provide. In every change he faithful will remain. Be still, my soul, the best thy heavenly friend through thorny ways leads to a joyful end. You've just heard Dr. Harold Sala with Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. If you would like to listen to the program again, download a copy, subscribe to our e-commentary, or view other resources, visit guidelines.org. We would like to hear from you, too. You can email us at info at guidelines.org. That's info at guidelines.org. Thanks for listening, and we invite you to join us again for the next edition of Guidelines. Guidelines.